What's up, X and YouTube? Matt A here. Today, we're going to talk about Star Wars Outlaws. That's right. And guess what? Say a prayer to me. Because since I'm doing content creation, you know what that means. I'm going to have to buy and play this game. That's right. I'm going to have to buy Star Wars Outlaws and I'm going to have to play it. And I'm not looking forward to that. But it is a sacrifice you have to make when you want to do these types of things, right? So say a prayer for me because, you know, I mostly stay diplomatic with my criticism criticisms on this channel. I mostly stay neutral or positive as much as possible. I try not to dogpile on games, in other words, right? And if you watch my other videos, you'll know I'm very diplomatic and I play devil's advocate. I usually have two sides of the coin. I usually give a good and a bad. I usually give, uh, you know, a reason. Well, I'm not going to mince words. This game looks like shit. The Jawas have arrived at the ship. Star Wars Outlaws looks like complete shit. The particle count is low. The textures are abysmal. The animations are terrible. And the camera is terrible. And we're going to get into all those things. And you might be saying, maybe this is unfair because you haven't played the game. But I've seen the gameplay footage. Not much of the game is going to change between now and launch. But when they show the gameplay, I feel like I'm looking at a pre-alpha build. This feels like a PS4 game that is in alpha. In other words, the animations just aren't polished. The textures aren't added. The poly count of, of effects like uh, you'll see the fire on the speeder the explosions, the lasers, the, the lighting, everything is just off about this. The shadows, every single aspect with lighting is off with this. Every single aspect of the gameplay in general feels off. The starships battle, the starship battles, those look atrocious. You know what would have reminded me of? It reminded me of your if you remember those old arcade games from the 2000s where you you know you would be type fighter and you would you know shoot the uh you know fight the rebels or you were in an X-wing, you know what I'm talking about where you had the the stick controls, the um the arcade cabinet, Star Wars uh flight game. That's what it reminds me of. The lasers feel I mean, it feels like it was done in like After Effects or something. It, it just looks really, really bad. I don't know. I don't know what they did with their engine or or how they got got this to look like that. Maybe that engine, the what they do for Assassin's Creed just doesn't work for, you know, special effects like you would need in Star Wars. Maybe that engine just can't account for hub worlds. Maybe the engine that they used they didn't utilize it properly. There's some kind of disconnect because nothing looks right. I mean, I don't know how to put it, man. I feel like the, the, it looks like, okay. Obviously this has better graphics, but it looks like a game like Ro Rogue Squadron for N64 plays better in space than this game. Starfield in space plays better than this game. And by the way, Starfield looks 10 times better than Star Wars Outlaws. It's not even close. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on with this game. It's going to be a complete disaster. It's going to be a complete disaster. And the reason why I'm dogpiling on it is I'm sick of the Star Wars franchise getting this kind of treatment. I'm just sick of the Star Wars franchise getting this shitty treatment from Disney from other game developers, you know, Jedi Fallen Order was great. I'm glad that they had that 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 push forward in the Star in Star Wars gaming. That game was great. Other games that follow it should also be great, but they aren't. But they aren't. 
we're getting another shitty Star Wars game to dogpile on the fucking Star Wars franchise, turning the whole franchise into complete garbage. Disney is turning the whole franchise into complete garbage. And this is just another cherry on top, rotted, disgusting, rotted, stale cherry on top with mold growing on it. Okay, that's what this is. This is a cherry with mold growing on it on top of the Star Wars uh, cherry pie made from crap that Disney put out. Okay, that's what this game is, especially after the Acolyte. This is something we don't need. We don't need this after the Acolyte. We needed something. We needed a win. And when they showed off at the, you know, the footage at Gamescom or wherever they showed off the footage, it actually looked pretty good at the time. It looked like the blaster play was good. It looked really fluid. The graphics looked pretty good. The way they traversed looked good. The story looked good. Everything looked good when they put in the presentation that they gave. But now when we see the actual gameplay, none of that is showing. I mean, you could just see when the, the thermal detonator goes off and it blows up, it looks like a little smoke grenade. It, it looks like amateur effects that, you know, that were done in like, uh, you know, in an Adobe program instead of a professionally, you know, edited uh, game engine. When they shoot the, the grenades, the smoke, very low poly count. Everything has ha everything seems like it's missing textures. And now we can get into the camera, the camera, the camera, the camera works like an N64 camera. That was the biggest problem of the Nintendo 64 was the camera. And they chose to use a camera style like the N64. And what I, what it reminds me of is Shadows of the Empire. Destroy the main generator. The shield door to Bay 3 is sealed and we can't take off. You must activate the six emergency generator switches on the lower level to restore power to the shield doors. Shadows of the Empire is actually an amazing game for the time it came out in on the system it came out on, right? If you re-release Shadows of the Empire today and you made that game from scratch and you put it on, you know, PS5, it was made for a 4070 graphics card, but you kept that camera you kept that that jankiness of the camera it wouldn't be a good game it's an amazing game in retrospect because of the time it came out in if you take that camera you take those mechanics those blaster mechanics from shadows of the empire and you apply it to a brand new star wars game in 2024 it's going to it's going it's going to suck it's not going to be a fluid gameplay. It's not going to feel modern. And that for me, from the on-site, from the trailer, now I didn't play it, obviously. I've never gotten early access or anything like that. I didn't play it. But from, from the looks of it, it looks like an N64 camera. Like you have Dash Rendar running around, you know, you're blasting. That was a really fun gameplay in 1998 or whatever. In 1998, maybe, or I can't remember when Shadows of the Empire came out, but you know what I mean? So yeah, running around as Dash Rendar is great. And I wish they would make another Shadows of the Empire type game. So that's why I was excited when I first saw this. But if you're going to do that and you're going to make one of those types of games, then, you know, you need to you need to have the mechanics down. You need to put a lot more emphasis and choose mechanics. That should be the most important thing, honestly. Let's say you're making a Star Wars game. The most important thing is getting the, the look right first. And then the story. And I said that correctly, because if the game feels good and plays good, the story can be bypassed a little bit. So all the time, all of their energy in the beginning should be spent on making sure the actual core gameplay is good in the vertical slice. Let's say you make a vertical slice of Star Wars Outlaws. You're playing it, testing it, and internally testing it. That gameplay should be the best it can get. That should be the highlight. That should be the focus of the team is getting the basic movements of the main character right. Getting the blaster right. A blaster in Star Wars is just as important as the lightsaber. 
and in Jedi Survivor, they spent a lot of time on the lightsaber to get it right. They had live action, you know, Cal Kestis, they had his character live action. They even had, you know, Mark Hamill on the set. They put a lot of time and effort into getting the lightsaber fighting correct. So they should have put a lot the same time and effort. This developer in this game should put the same time and development to get the blaster right. How could they do that? They could get a professional shooter who shoots black powder guns, or I should say shoots cowboy style guns. They could map his movements out. They can map the way you would duel and like in a Western times. So let's say you have a, a you know, a, a 45 long Colt weapon. They could motion map that they could mocap that and make sure they get the animations right for the gun. They can make sure that they get the animations right just by using a 45 long Colt revolver. Put more effort into it. Just like lightsabers, you could use swords and sticks to get that right. With a blaster, you should be using a, a real prop gun to get the mocap on that from a professional shooter that competes in cowboy matches. Because a lot of the inspiration for blaster play and using the blaster comes from the Western style of gunfighting, right? Drawing from the hip, shooting with the, you know, with uh with both eyes open with the with the gun out, shooting one-handed. So the Star Wars blasters are shot basically what I'm saying is the Star Wars blasters are shot more like old, old Western 45 long colt revolvers rather than like modern guns, obviously. So you should mocap that out, make that a priority. Gunplay looks horrible. And I can almost bet they're showing off such such so few they're showing off very little of the cities and you can almost bet they're going to feel hollow i bet you any money the cities are going to feel ho feel hollow and dead i i just bet you any money when you go to each of these planets you go to each of these cities they're all going to feel the same they're all going to have the same vibe and there's going to be a couple of points of interest in these cities and it's going to create an illusion that it's an open world or a hub world game. It's technically a hub world game. It's going to create some kind of illusion. But after you play for like 10 hours or 12 hours and you're going back and forth between these planets, you're going to realize, hey, this game really isn't open world. This is all like hollow. You're going to feel like you're in a game. Basically, you're not going to get immersed. I can already bet you that that's what's going to happen when you play this game. I can bet you. That's what's going to happen. That's going to happen. So now the only saving grace we can hope for, which would put the game maybe at a five out of 10 is the story. So the most we can hope for at this point is that the story is good. We can hope that they made a compelling, a good story with good quests because we know the rest of the game is going to be a shallow, hollow mess. It's going to be a mess. And I'm not mincing words in this video like I normally do, okay? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of horrible. I'm sick of the treatment that the Star Wars franchise gets. I'm sick of it. So proceed with, ca with caution. I would not pre-order this game. I would have before, but I'm not going to pre-order this game. I am going to buy the game because I am going to do content on it, obviously, and review things and critique, critique things, but I'm not going to pre-order it. I'm not going to reward this kind of behavior. And don't tell me this is like a quadruple A game or something like that. That's ridiculous. With all the resources that Ubisoft has, with all of the resources that Ubisoft has, this game has no excuses. None. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say, folks. We just we just have to, to bear another rotten cherry on top of the star wars franchise that's what this is another rotting cherry on top of the star wars franchise but hopefully the story makes the cherry sweet at least if we're eating a rotten cherry hopefully it's at least sweet when it's going down before it gives us food poisoning and this game is going to give us food poisoning that's what this game is going to do it's going to give us food poisoning that's the video Thanks for watching. Those are my thoughts. I'm not mincing words. This game is total shit. Thanks for watching. Those are my thoughts. I'll see you next time. Thanks.